gave me a dream. And in this dream, I found myself attending a banquet at a very large building. They were serving all kinds of food. Very prominent celebrities were there. And I was so anxious to meet these people that I was not ready to eat. Immediately I had to leave the banquet for a moment and afterwards I tried to find my way back. But because the building was so large, I began to lose my way. As I walked through the hall, I noticed that there were cameras everywhere. In the corners, over every door, and in every room. I became frantic. Then I began to notice strangely tall security officers. There were some standing some walking, and their eyes were all on me. I cried out for help, and one of them came to my aid, and he pointed to the cameras and began to speak, saying, His eyes are always on you. He is always watching. I said to him, who is watching me? And he said, he that sits up high in the upper office. I began to feel that the banquet was wicked and he did not want me there. My feelings were confirmed when he began to explain that I could not go back to this banquet where all the celebrities were and that I needed to find my way out of this place. The security officers were in constant contact with the one that they referred to as the boss that sits and watches from up high. The officer began to guide me through a maze of hallways and secret passages. He was constantly saying to me as he pointed to the cameras, His eyes are always on you. He is always watching. He instructed me to follow him and was sent to guide me out of this place. There were so many passages, one after another, doors, halls, and staircases, and they were everywhere. Finally, after following him so closely, he led me to a door where there was daylight on the other side. As I went through the door, he said to me, Remember, his eyes are always on you. He is always watching. I felt an overwhelming peace as I awoke out of this dream. It was revealed to me that those that guided me were angels leading me in the path of the Lord and the one that sat on high whose eyes were always watching me was our Lord and Savior. As the Lord brought this dream to my remembrance, he said to me, his eyes are always on his people. 
I see them when they go places they should not go. They will not yield to my guides. They are as stubborn as the house of Israel. They are always doing things that they should not do, saying things that they should not say. I watch them when they create songs of praise to me and refuse to use my name. I am the Lord Jesus, that is my name. But they have denied my name in their songs. Whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall I be ashamed when I return. They create songs to be used by anyone for any God. I am the Lord your God. My name is a strong tower. There is none other name whereby you must be saved. And they remove my holy name out of their songs to reach the lost for gain. I reach the lost when I draw them to me. Where were they when the thousands came to hear my words? Where were they when I fed the multitudes? Out of every city they came. Without food they came. And I fed them all. Who called Lazarus from the grave, and what instrument did he use? I called him forth, the same way I call the dead spiritually. I draw them with my spirit. I see the shepherds when they use dark arts to control my sheep for gain to further their own agenda, an agenda that I did not give them. I see the things they do in secret. Woe to you to say that you are my friend and will not deny yourself and go to the cross. He that loves mother or father, sister or brother, husband or wife, more than me is not worthy of me. Ananias and Sapphira had so much but gave so little and lost all. So shall you who refuse to go to the cross. The time has come that the ax is laid at the root of the tree. Do you really think that I have delayed my return? I gave you signs so that you would watch for my return and pray and be ready. If you do not watch, I will return at a day that you think not, at a time that you know not. Like a thief, I will come upon this whole generation and will steal from you the best, the first fruits of my harvest, and I will leave the rest to go through the tribulation. And they shall be tried and suffer many things because thou hast walked in the way of Israel thy sister and has gone a whoring after the heathen and are polluted with their idols therefore will I give her cup into thine hand thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee and thy whoredom brought from the world so that thou shalt not lift up thine eye unto them again, nor remember the wicked deeds of the world any more, and they shall sacrifice all to me in that day, even with their life.